Today, we're going to be covering Slice Transform. Slice Transform is an effect within Resolume that allows you to easily send specific pieces of your content to different slices or parts of your LED wall. This makes it super easy to modify the looks that you're getting on your LED wall and to change it within the interface on the fly even. So we got some examples here to go over and let's go ahead and get into Resolume. First things first, let's go to view. Let's go to show slices. Now, there will not be anything here as of yet um, in your tab, but what you can do is go to output, go to advanced. And if you have been following along with Rob's previous tutorials on advanced outputting and stage mapping, you should have this pixel map that we've been playing around with from Wakan Fest. And, you know, whether you have your own or you want to follow along, the idea here is that we already have some slices set up. Now, even from Rob's tutorial, I've made some arbitrary changes to the positions of these different panels and basically just group them up and put some spacing in between. I want to show you guys, I have a composition slice transform effect on with all of my slices in here. That allows me to see the composition in the panel up here. It is super helpful, especially whenever you're doing bigger production, more LED screens, and just keep helping you keep track of everything in one little screen. So let's go ahead and kick this out, and I'll show you guys how to get back there. And what we'll do is go to the Slices tab over here, select all of them, grab it, and then let's drop it on the composition. Now you'll see that got us pretty close to where we were and it even made a slice transform effect for us. So rather than going in here, typing in slice transform and finding it, choosing it and dropping it on, we just grabbed the slices and dropped it in the composition and that gave us this right here. So as you can see, now we can see the uh, input map layout in our composition monitor. Let's say that we don't want this all repeated and we want a different look. This is where we go to the scaling options. Now what we're on now, as you can see, is fill. And what that does is it takes your content and repeats it in each slice and scales it to fill the whole slice. I find this one very useful and it's one of my most common used. But let's look at the others. So fit. I don't use as much. Uh, what it does is it scales your content in the same manner for each slice, and but it only scales it until it touches one of the sides, whether that's left or right or top or bottom, and then it stops the scaling. This leaves a lot of space on the tops and bottoms of each slice and left and right down here on the DJ booth. So it's less than ideal. Even more so is stretch. This distorts your content way too much in my opinion. My most common used is mask. That uses the slice layers as a mask and overlays your content over it. This one I most commonly use as well as fill. And I use mask mainly whenever the LED wall layout is in a 16 by nine aspect ratio in a general 16 by nine layout. If you like tutorials like these, we get a full classroom and it's way beyond what we got here on YouTube. Plugins, loops, we got insider tips and tricks from a community of experienced VJs. Now, if you haven't yet, check out our week free trial to see for yourself and download some unique assets. Now, let's also touch on some of the more options that we have over here. So this symbol right here is the Pac-Man symbol. And what those are, are basically mirroring tools. So you can flip on the X or Y or on the X and Y. So on our main screen here, let's flip it on the X and Y. And on the X. And you can do the same with the DJ booth, of course. And I'll show some better examples of how this is more useful later on. Next is the bypass button. You can cut out certain slices by bypassing them. 
And a similar and next button is the solo. That is gonna allow you to solo a slice. Now note you can only solo one slice at a time. And then the X is just going to kick out the slice in general. All right, so let's do another example here and go ahead and get some live camera feed coming in. So here is my feed coming in live. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and throw this on here. And remember, these are the two sides. Here's the wing one through four and five through eight here. Now, this is cool. Um, but I think I would much prefer it to have one and one. So let's go ahead and look at how we would do that. So control shift a here is wing one in this little rectangle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that. We'll go to nine, drag that down. The snapping tool makes it super easy. So there is one slice there. Let's copy that. We'll take 10, move him over, drop it there. And I don't really need them active. I do want them live. And a really key part here is when you make edits, go ahead and select it all. It's going to let me go to uh, output and match. That is a crucial step. All right, so to test this out, let's go ahead and copy this copy of eight uh, slices. And we'll go ahead and kick that out. Let's grab the new wing nine and 10 that we just made. Drag that on and drop it. And let's turn it on. So now we have two presets. We got the eight and then we also have the two that you can just easily turn at any time. Maybe you want to flip the X here and have them facing each other. Um, for your iMag screens, easy to modify this on the go using Resolume's interface, even it, while you're in a mid-performance, it's super easy to go in there and customize your looks. Now, let's go ahead and use logos next as an example. And let's throw this logo up. So this is just normal, thrown on composition, no slice transform or anything. But let's say we want this on the DJ booth only. We'll drag and drop that on. And as you can see, it just throws it down there for us. Now, something to keep in mind, if transform is above slice transform, you can take your scale and edit that easily. And then let's say that we like the DJ booth one, but we also want to have a copy where it's on the main screen only. We can do that. And then there you go. You got multiple different selections ready to go. All right, for the next example, let's go ahead and pull up the advanced output. And for this main wall here, I'll set up a preset to duplicate it twice. And then with the DJ booth, I'll set up a preset to duplicate the image three times symmetrically. Follow along if you will, and I'll, I'll break this down. So let's copy the main screen, go to the width, and we are wanting it half the width. So divided by two. We'll grab that, move it over, it snaps in. Let's copy that. Grab the new one, move it over and snap it in. Now we'll go down here to the DJ booth. Let's copy that. Let's go to the width and give it a divided by three. We'll snap that in again. Copy and paste, select the new one. Copy, paste, select the new one. All right, so now that we have the DJ booth divided into three equal parts, let's go ahead and deactivate those. We'll select all of these, go to output and right click match input shape. And then from that point, we can just do save and close. Now, what I would like to do from here is set up some presets. So you know, generally, as I mentioned, we'll have slice transform on your composition panel. And that's the base that I like to run. And then from that point, I'll set up presets with different looks. So let's go ahead and go over how that would work. Now let's set up a preset where it's going to 
show the image dividing by two right here. And what we would do to get that is, let's go ahead and throw the main screen two and three into the panel. And there we go. Now we have one preset. Now, if you noticed, I did not have to go to effects there and grab slice transform and drop it and then go grab the slices and drop that in. You can simply grab the slices and drop it and it will assume a slice transform for you. Now, let's also build a preset that we have the doubles, but then we also have triples down here like we set up. So let's go ahead and name that first doubles main and then we'll put that over doubles main plus three peep all right so now we got that selected what we want is the dj booth two three and four let's grab and drop that in there and just like that those are the selections we created just a second ago and you can easily just drop them in there now you got doubles and you have triples. Now, one thing I like to do whenever you do have the doubles look like that is to flip the X and it makes the symmetry much, much better. So we'll do that on both of them. Now, let's assume we just want the triples down here and we want the main image taking up uh, just a singular space there. So we can easily just repeat that and we'll do it's just a 3P alone, let's say. So we'll select it. All we got to do is go down here and kick those two out. And just like that, you got the 3P singulars up top. So now we got the doubles main. We got the doubles in the 3P. And then we got the 3P. And just like that, you have multiple different looks and presets available to go between within your performance. You can also start adding on something called Chaser now. Now Chaser utilizes those slices and lets you customize sequences on turning them on and off and flickering and all different types of things. You can even stack these with effects. So it allows you to take your customization to really a next level. And for drops or buildups, it really gives you another cool tool at your hand to use. So we'll be going more into Chaser soon. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that this is another reason to start adding in slices to your workflow. So I think that's it for Slice Transform. There is so many different ways that you can start utilizing this and adding this skill set in from having your slices shown in your composition monitor to having multiple presets set up to modifying the layout of your LED walls on the fly, even on a live performance. I mean, there's just so many ways you can add this in. So I hope this landed well for everyone. If you have any questions pertaining to this, feel free to hit me up and we'll talk soon.